In this video, we're going to be making a box, okay? It's going to be a box that you can cut out with a laser, so it's going to have the finger joints in it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that here, okay? So first thing, before we start actually drawing anything, there's a little panel on the right. See that little blue, blue tab there? That's called the configuration panel. I'm going to click that, and where it says configure part studio, there's a drop down. I'm going to hit that, and create a configuration variable okay so this is going to be called thickness i'm going to make four of these variables this one's called thickness and i'm going to be using three millimeter wood okay click that i'm done all right so now i've got this variable called thickness now if you look in the upper left under configurations there's something called thickness here pretty cool right okay so now instead of a drop down for some reason they move it down here, and now it's a drop up or a lift up. <laughs> I don't know. But open it up and do another configuration variable. I want to call this one width. Okay. Make the default, I don't know, 120 millimeters. Call that good. Okay. Configuration variable. Let's do another one of these called depth. Make that 120. Okay, and then this one will be called, uh, let's do another configuration variable. This one will be called height. So I try to do it XYZ style, and I'll make the default 60 here. Okay, we'll call that good. Cool. So we got thickness, width, depth, height. So X, Y, and Z. Okay, looking good so far. Now I'm going to hit that blue tab again to close that out. Okay, so now we've got these variables here. I'm going to select this little bar here and drag down so I can see them. Here's all my variables. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go to Sketch, choose the top plane to sketch on. I'm going to view it from the top, and I'm going to do a rectangle, but I'm going to do the drop down and do the center point rectangle. Okay, hover my mouse over the center until the coincidence uh, constraint pops up, then click, and then I'm going to make it this big, whatever, okay? Then I'm going to use my dimension tool. I'm going to select this line, and this is going to be my depth, right? So I'm going to drop the dimension here, click again. I'm, I'm just going to type in D, and it suggests my variable here, which is depth, and hit enter, hit enter, okay? I'm going to do the same thing up front. So I've got my dimension tools on still, right? Select the front of it. This will eventually be the front. So I click that, and now I click it to drop it, right? And this is the width, so W. All right, enter, enter. Okay. And let's do a check mark and look at our beautiful creation so far. Cool. Also, uh, I'll leave these on for now. So... I'm going to extrude that. Hit extrude. I want to select this. I can also select the sketch. There we go. And the depth will be the width. Or sorry, not the width, the thickness. So I'm going to type in T. And look at that. There's the thickness. All right. Hit enter. And green check mark. So now I've got this piece of wood. Well, eventually a piece of wood that's all flat here as the bottom of my, my creation here. Okay, now I'm going to sketch, but I want to do another one on the top plane here. So I can either select it on the left side here, the top plane, or select the top plane here. But I'll select it right there, okay? So now I want to make another rectangle here, but I can do a corner rectangle. I'm going to select this corner here, and I'm going to see there it is, the coincidence constraint right there. Then up top here. I'm going to see take my dimensioning tool, select that, and then type in T for thickness. There we go. Hit my green check mark. And now I've got this rectangle in there, right? So I'm going to hit extrude, and I want to extrude sketch 2. Now, it's very important that these intersect, but they be different parts. So where it says up here, add, I don't want it to add to this part. I want it to be a whole new part. So I'm going to select new. There we go. 
and the depth of it, why, that'll be the depth. The depth? No, I guess that's a different way of looking at it. That'll be the height of our box. Huh. <laughs> okay. Depth is height. That's funny. Hit enter. All right. Hit my green check mark. Cool. Okay. So looking good so far. Now I'm going to go to my feature scripts here. So I've already got box joint here, but if you don't have that, you can hit plus and you can go to public here and you can search for B-O-X space J-O-I-N-T and hit the search function. And only one of these is like at version one. Oh, I guess a few of them. Oh, there we go. This one, the version two, which isn't in progress. All the other ones say in progress. This one claims it's done. So I click that one to add it. Okay. But now that I have it, I'm going to open this up. And you can only select two parts at a time. Okay. And they have to intersect somewhere. So if I were to draw this on top here, they wouldn't actually intersect. It wouldn't make uh, box joints. So they intersect. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to select the parts to join, right? This is highlighted. So I'm going to select the bottom one and this one here. And now if I look over here, I've got box joints. And I've got one, two, three, four. Four pins. Now if I want the other side to have the four pins, I can click this arrow. And now the gray has a four. Okay. But if I wanted to have, I'll go with a six on this. There we go. Call that good. Hit my green check mark. Cool. Okay. So I've got one side, well, two sides of this box done, right? So the reason I did a center point rectangle was because I want to be symmetric along the planes here. So now I'm going to do a mirror. So I'm going to hit my mirror, my 3D mirror, right? So entity is a mirror. I'm going to click that where it says entity, entity is a mirror. I'm going to click this piece right here. Okay. Now I'm going to go up here and click on mirror plane. And I'm going to click the right plane here. I can either select it here or I can go over to my tree here, my process tree, and click the right plane there. Okay. Now I don't want to add it. I know it likes to add things in Onshape, but I don't want to add it. I want to make it a new piece. Okay. So now, now there's a new piece and I hit my green check mark that I'm done. Cool. And so... If I were to right click and hide this part, I see that it still doesn't have the, the, the teeth for it, right? So I'm going to go over here to part three below my tree, my parts list, and unhide it, right? Click on the eyeball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Booleans. I'm going to do a subtract. So the tool I'm going to use to subtract is this right piece here. The target is the base of this here, okay? So it's going to put these holes in it. But I want to keep that tool that I used. There we go. Okay. So now it's got the little teeth there. Perfect. So let's do another sketch here. I'm going to sketch on the front of this piece here since it's the oldest piece. Okay. I'm going to do a corner-to-corner -corner rectangle. Select that upper left here. I'm going to select this lower left. Okay. There's my coincidence constraint. I'm going to go all the way to this point right here. Okay. Perfect. Now, instead of hitting my green check mark, I'm just going to do the extrude shortcut out of it. So hit the extrude. And I want it to intersect with everything, so I'm going to go this way. Okay. The depth right here is going to be the thickness. So I'm going to type in T, enter, enter. And enter one more time <laughs> just to get rid of that box. Cool. Okay. So I can see that I'm going to have to do three box joints, but that's kind of kind of a lot of work when I could do it two. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roll my timeline. I guess, you know what? Actually, I'll, I'll move this over. So the mirror, I'm going to hold down shift and select my Boolean. I'm going to drag that past that. Okay. So now it's in a different order. Oh, I guess sketch three needs to go on top of something. That's right. Okay, so sketch three, I went from over lower left to upper right. Delete all this. I'm going to go from lower right to upper left. There we go, because those are part of the process there. Hit my green check mark. Cool, now we're looking good. Okay, I'm going to roll back my time bar above the mirror and the Boolean. 
Okay, so now I've just got the base, this piece, and this piece. And now I'm going to do a box joint here. I'm going to need two of them. So first I'm going to do the bottom one so everything stays symmetric. Select this piece, select the bottom here, and I'm going to do another six on this one. Okay, enter, enter. Cool. How funny. And then I'm going to do a box joint on this, this, the front piece and the side piece. There we go. Kind of. Yeah, that works. Okay, we can do that. Cool. Okay. And I'll do four on the side. All right. There we go. Everything's nice and flat. Nothing overlapping. Looking good here. Cool. Now I'm going to drag this down. Okay. So it's going to mirror this. And I'm going to open up the Boolean here. And under targets, I want it to take out of this piece too. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So I'll undo that here. And I'll actually I'll exit out of this. So right now the issue is that I did the base. I subtracted the side from the base here with a Boolean. But I never did the front of it because I did it before I even made a front. And I moved it around in the timeline. Okay. So this one's missing the... So if I were to right-click and hide this, this one doesn't actually have cuts for the, the fingers there. So unhide it. So I'm going to open up my Boolean that I already made. I could make another Boolean, but it's kind of sloppy to do it that way. But the tool is still this piece, right? This is a piece I'm going to be cutting pieces out with. And then the target, I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to select this piece here. And then hit my green check mark. And now I have solid pieces. Okay, one last thing to do here is mirror from the front. So entities to mirror, the front piece here. And the mirror plane is a front plane. There we go. Call that good. Make sure it's a new part. And now I'm going to do another Boolean. So I'm going to do a subtract. This is my tool. My targets will be the left, the bottom, and the right. Okay, so it's going to put fingers on all those. I'm going to keep the tool and click check that I'm done. All right. So now I've got this very box-looking box, right? So I'm going to go up in my tree here and hide the top, the front, and the right. And there's my beautiful box. So if I select this point to this point, I see that's 120 millimeters. Perfect. Cool. So let's say I was using 6 millimeter birch instead of 3 millimeter birch. Well, now under thickness, because I had it go to the, the parameters there, I can type in 6, or the variable, the configuration variable, 6, enter. And it's going to think about it for a second, and now it's a lot thicker, right? And let's say I want it deep, like I'm going to store baseball bats in this thing. I want it, I don't know, 400 millimeters. And now this thing's 400 millimeters tall, <laughs> right? Now I want it, I don't know, kind of deep, but really wide. This is going to be for like a cubby or something, a cubby bin. All right. And there we go. And so once I'm ready to laser this, I can go to the surface here and right click on that surface that I want to export. Export is DXF or DWG. Okay, format DXF. I'm going to call this uh, front back. Front back. Because they're the exact same thing on the front and back. And hit export. And there I have my front back. I can right click on the side export as I'm going to call this left right hit export and then I'm going to right click on the bottom piece hit export and export it as bottom cool and there we go then I take this to my laser I cut two of the front backs two of the left rights and one bottom then assemble it and now I've got a box but yeah, that's how to make a fast, easy box, whatever size you want now, using this, using these uh, parameters here. So, yeah, hopefully you guys start playing with Onshape more. Thanks for watching.